Okay, we're back with Disney 100 Advent Calendar Storybook Collection. Let's have a look inside. Okay, we're looking for book number 15. When you see it, let me know. Shout it out and we can start our reading. Oh, what is this book? Is it on? Is it, it? Oh, wait, hold on. There it is. Ah, oh, good eyes. What book have we got today? Disney, Mickey and Minnie's Gift of the Maggie. When Mickey and Minnie have to find each other the perfect Christmas present, they discover that love is the most valuable gift of all. It was Christmas Eve and Mickey and Pluto were strolling down the street, pulling a small Christmas tree to take home to Minnie. Suddenly, Pluto started barking at a beautiful golden chain in a shop window. That's a perfect gift to go with Minnie's watch, said Mickey. But when Mickey reached into his pockets, there were empty. I'm a little short right now, he said sadly. But we're going to make lots of tips today, aren't we? Pluto looked doubtful. Meanwhile, at home, Minnie was worrying over a pile of unpaid bills. Oh, Figaro, she sighed. How am I ever going to afford to buy Mickey a present? Just then, Minnie heard a knock at the door. She quickly shoved the bills in a drawer. Minnie opened the front door to find Mickey carrying a tree and playing a happy song on his harmonica. Minnie giggled. Oh, Mickey, when you play the harmonica, my heart sings. Mickey smiled and wrapped his harmonica in an old rag. An instrument like that deserves a special case, she told him. Maybe someday it will have one, he replied. Mickey asked Minnie what time it was and she pulled out a piece of string with a lovely watch hanging on the end. I bet that will look really nice on a gold chain, Mickey said. Looking at her watch, Minnie suddenly realized she was late for work. She raced for the door, but Mickey and Pluto beat her outside. They wanted to take her to work in style. Pluto pulled up in front of Mortimer's department store. Minnie had made it to work just in time. Minnie gave Mickey a quick kiss, then dashed inside. Come on, fella, Mickey said to Pluto. We have work to do. Together, the pair hurried off. Fortunately, dropping Minnie off had made Mickey late for his own job at Crazy Pete's Christmas Tree Farm. Merry Christmas, Mr. Pete, Mickey said when he arrived. I'll be merry when I sold all those ten footers, Pete barked. Now get to work! Mickey was really busy. It seemed many people had waited until the last minute to buy their trees. The customers were so impressed with Mickey's help that he earned a lot of extra money. Looks like we'll be able to get Minnie that chain after all, he exclaimed. But nearby, Pete was trying to convince a poor family to buy an expensive Christmas tree. That's all I've got left, Pete lied. You don't want these kids going without a tree now, do ya? Mickey heard Pete talking and didn't think he was being fair. How about this smaller tree, he called out. I found it in the back. The children were delighted. It's perfect, it's perfect, they said. The father said, we'll take it, thank you. Merry Christmas. After the family had left, Pete was furious. I'm taking what I would have made off that tree out of your pay. And with that, Pete snatched Mickey's money right out of his hand, then tossed Mickey and Pluto into the snow. You're fired, roared Pete. 
Across town, Minnie was busy wrapping Christmas gifts. Just then, the phone rang. It was Minnie's work friend. Her boss wanted to see her in his office. Minnie put down the gift she was wrapping and raced upstairs. She was sure she was about to get her Christmas bonus. However, when she got there, her boss handed her a fruitcake. Thank you, sir said Minnie, trying to hide her disappointment. No need to thank me, Mr Mortimer replied, grinning. Minnie left his office. How am I ever going to get Mickey a present now? she thought sadly. Meanwhile, Mickey sat in the park playing his harmonica. He had lost his job and his money. How could he pay for Minnie's present? Then the fire chief heard Mickey playing and asked him to play at the fireman's Christmas charity concert. Mickey happily agreed to play. Soon his music was delighting everyone. You and that whole man can make a great team, fire chief told Mickey when the concert was over. She's worth her weight in gold, Mickey agreed. Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. That's it, he cried. Come on, Pluto. We still have time to get to the shop before it closes. They borrowed a snowboard and made it to the shop just as the shopkeeper was closing up. Mickey begged the shopkeeper to reopen, but the owner shook his head. Mickey sat on the curb and played his harmonica. Touched by Mickey's beautiful Christmas song, the owner changed his mind. He unlocked the door and let Mickey trade his harmonica for the gold chain in the window. Later that night, Mickey and Minnie sat in front of the fire with Pluto and Figaro, preparing to exchange gifts. Mickey handed Minnie a beautifully wrapped box. I hope you like it, he told her. Minnie unwrapped her gift. A chain for my watch, she exclaimed. Oh, Mickey, it's beautiful. I love it, but I traded my watch to buy your gift. Mickey slowly unwrapped his gift. A case for my harmonica, he said. Mickey looked at Minnie. I traded my harmonica to get the chain for your watch. Oh, Mickey, I can't believe you gave up what means the most to you for me, exclaimed Minnie. Minnie, don't you know you're all the music I'll ever need, Mickey asked. Merry Christmas, Mickey, Minnie cried. Mickey took her hand and smiled. Merry Christmas, Minnie. The two smiled at each other. It was a Christmas they'd never forget. Now if you like that story, why don't you tap the like button? And why not subscribe so you can hear another story from this collection? Hit the notification bell so that you will know when we upload the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bzzz for now.